say thank you so much to MIT for everything that you guys gave me here. I think MIT, you've done an amazing job uh, fostering an environment of just openness and learning and curiosity. Everyone who, who was committed to our learning and to our progress and our success. At MIT, you really learned to push your limits. Uh, I've done things that I never thought were possible, uh, including not sleeping much and still waking up the next morning and being super happy and going to my next like PSAT or job or interview. MIT allows us to take classes in any department or school, regardless of what we're majoring in, and I've really enjoyed some of the classes I've taken that were completely outside of my course requirements. So I just wanted to thank MIT for letting us have that opportunity. Coming in as a freshman, I didn't realize how much opportunity that I would have here. Opportunity both at MIT as well as globally to go abroad. I realized MIT is really no joke. Nothing like I've ever done before. And it was time for me to turn up the dial all the way out and really, really dedicate myself to um, performing well here. Uh, I was coaching crew at Riverside Boat Club down the Charles River, and I asked my boss why he hired me. And he goes, you're an MIT student. And I was like, what does that have to do with anything? Does that have to do with crew? And he goes, two reasons. Uh, one, I know you've been through hell and back, and so you can handle anything uh, that I throw at you and that you have to do as a coach. And two, you can problem solve. MIT is just nothing in comparison to any other work I've ever done and probably will ever do. So I feel lucky to have been able to spend four years of my life here. I've now gained something that I'm going to have for the rest of my life. So thank you. One of my favorite memories was actually from my archaeology class freshman year where we got to work in the metal forge under the material science department to replicate a process that was done thousands of years ago by metallurgists in the Incan Empire. I'm on the men's soccer team. Um, and I played soccer for four years, and finally, earlier this year, the MIT men's soccer team won their first ever NUMAC soccer championship. Uh, and it was a very MIT moment. Uh, you know, we always go into away games, you know, studying on the bus, doing, doing work, trying to get home early, as early as possible, so we can, you know, study for tests and things like that tomorrow. But to come together as a team and win the first ever championship uh, my senior year after four years was really like an amazing experience to share with the, with the guys. My favorite memory here at MIT was during my sophomore year when we had the 150th celebration of MIT. Um, the greatest day was when we had the 150th open house and I think that was my favorite just because it was time where all of the MIT community came together. I remember specifically doing the flash mob when there were students, staff, alumni, and even the president Hockfield at the time. I remember going through the semester for a whole semester with this team of people all for one cause um, of, of building this new product and at the end the, the memory that sticks out to me is when we presented our product and how professional this whole presentation was and how how like what a big deal it was for the community and for us so in the future, I'm actually, I'm working for the Jamil Poverty Action Lab from August to mid-November, and then I'm actually doing a Fulbright Research Fellowship in Botswana, uh, where I'm going to be studying the interaction between HIV and education, uh, and then I'm coming back to the Harvard Kennedy School in Cambridge. So I'm not leaving uh, the MIT neighborhood too far, but uh, that's sort of my plan, and I, I've really learned at MIT that my biggest passion is actually using math and economics to uncover uh, causal relationships in the real world, what causes what. Uh, and so that's what I want to devote my life to in education and health. Uh, and so I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about the next three years. After graduation, I'll be starting a full-time job down in D.C. working in building technology, and I hope to use my background in material science to really make buildings better. So after graduation, I love MIT so much, I'll be coming back for another year to do a Master's of Science in Nuclear Engineering. Uh, I'm also in the Navy, so after that one year, I'll be on a nuclear submarine for about four to five years. And I hope one day to be able to take all of the MIT technical knowledge uh, and apply it to nuclear policy and energy policy. Next year I'll be starting to work at Boeing. Um, at Boeing I'll be an integration manager at the Satellite Development Factory and I'm really excited to be able to apply the work ethic that I've acquired here, there, at this new place and, and with this new challenge. 
After my time here at MIT, I'm going to be participating in a global pu public service program through Duke University. And so through this program, I'm going to have the opportunity to go abroad to both Guatemala and St. Vincent and work in clinics while helping a group of high school students develop their own global health projects. When I'm not abroad, I'll be researching at Duke and applying to medical schools for fall 2014. Woo! Did it! Made it! Thanks mom and dad. Thanks Brandon and Kaylin for all the help over the years. I want to thank my parents and my family back home who have supported me through this entire journey and also all the friends that I've made while I've been here. Yeah! <laughs> I did it! I'm so excited. Uh, I made it out of MIT with flying colors, I hope. Thank you, Ima, Abba, that's my parents' name in Hebrew, uh, my sister, Adi, my grandparents, all my really, really close friends at MIT, lifelong friends. I'm so excited! Mommy, Papi, Allison, ya lo hicimos. Estoy muy orgullosa de haber uh, llegado aquí y estoy muy orgullosa de tenerlos a ustedes como padres por haberme apoyado en todo esto. Thank you, and we did it! Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Mommy and Daddy, Victor Peace, Patience, and Little Faith for all encouraging me. I did it! Woo!